Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we're going to be making this card. Um, it uses the Apple of My Eye stamp set from Stampin' Up. So let's go ahead and get started. The piece of crushed curry is four and a fourth by 11 scored at five and a half and we'll use our bone folder to get a good crease so it'll stay flat for us the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the lemons and the limes because they need to dry so let's go ahead and get that going here. You're just going to need a, a scrap of um, Whisper White. Let's see. Which one we need here? Yeah, this is the bigger one. All right. I'm going to get the wedge from the stamp set. And then we're also going to use these little seeds down here. And we're going to do, um, I'm going to use crushed curry and wild wasabi. And we do want to get our, our stamping mat. We're just going to hold that down, make sure all the ink soaks into the paper real good. All right, that'll dry a little lighter. Okay, and then we are going to need to clean off my stamp so that I don't contaminate my wild with spotty. for a few seconds also. Okay, and then we're also going to need this little leaf right here. That one we're going to need to fussy cut. I'll use the wild wasabi for this also. Okay. 
And I'm just going to take my paper snips and fussy cut these leaves out. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a cough there. And I'm going to take this right up to the edge of the leaf. I'm trying not to leave any white space at all. So I'm going to cut out the other leaf. You don't need to watch me cut out two. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have both of my leaves cut out. <clears throat> now I'm going to get my lemon and lime wedges back. And I'm going to take this little stamp with the seeds on it. And now that the wedges have dried a little bit. I'm going to come back and add these. It's the same color, crushed curry and wild wasabi. take my clear Wink of Stella brush and I'm just going to color in all the little segments. Of each one of the little pieces. Just like that and I'll do the rest of them and then I'll be right back okay so I have all my shimmer on my lemon wedges or I guess they're halves um, now I am going to take my fine tip glue pen like it's always hiding on me and if you see in this one um, there's like little droplets on here to kind of look like it's juicy and all I did was take my fine tip glue pen and put three or four little blobs of glue and then they dry clear to look like they're juicy. So that's why we're doing this step first, because it's gonna take a little while for this to dry. Okay. Oh, 
two more. All right, that is it. And we will let this dry. And we'll come back to it. All right. We are going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is four by five and a quarter with our decorative dots embossing folder. Get lined up in here and I'm gonna use my texture boutique just because it's smaller. <clears throat> Your big shot will work. That gives some good texture to our layer. The next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of vellum. This is Stampin' Up's cardstock vellum, and that is three and a half by three and a half. I'm going to take my embossing buddy and I'm going to run that over. Try and eliminate as much um, static as I can. I get my Versa mark and from the same stamp set. I'm going to take your the sweetest. Or you could do this thank you. I'm going to do this thank you this time. Always can use thank you cards. Okay. Stamping that back out. And that's going to go in the middle on the right side. Give it a good press. Okay. Now I'm going to take my black embossing powder and we will sprinkle that over the thank you don't think I'm going to be able to get that off so I will get another sheet of vellum and we will try that again <clears throat> it's weird take our embossing buddy again Thank you again. All right. Ok, 
Okay. I am going to take this over to my heat gun, um, melt the embossing powder, and I will be right back. So I am back. Um, here's my embossing. It's nice and melted. And this is the one that I had done that um, I thought I messed up on. I'm not sure what was on it, but I just took a paintbrush and um, a really, really small one and got in between everything and it came out fine. I'm not for sure what was, what that long streak was, but it is gone. All right, so let's take our piece of crushed curry and our textured piece and get some of our um, Tombow Mani Multi-Glue. that right in the middle then we are going to take our piece of vellum and I'm just going to use some fast fuse for that sometimes when you use liquid glue on vellum it it uh, buckles so I'm just going to use the fast fuse and I'm going to put it right down the left side. You're not going to see it. And I'm going to put a little piece right here and a little piece right here because you won't see those either because they will be underneath the leaves. Okay, there we go. And then I have a piece from the cherry on top designer series paper this is the one that I used that's the front and it's the back of that and this is one and a half by four and a half and I will just take some fast views and put that right down the left side here Now I'm going to take the little leaves and I will put a little bit of fast fuse on the back of these. So I'm just putting it over there. And we'll just put our leaves right here. My fast fuse is not cooperating with me today. <clears throat> now for the inside, I'm going to let these segments dry as much as, as long as possible. We'll take our other piece of cardstock that is four by five and a fourth. And all I'm going to do, you can take the wild wasabi or the crushed curry. I'm just going to take the wild wasabi with the little segment stamp again and I'm going to need a little piece
piece of, I guess I'll use this one. Because I'm going to stamp off of it a little bit, so I don't want it on my stamp pad. And I'm just going to stamp down here in the corner. looks really dark when uh, you first stamp it, but it, it dries quite a bit lighter. Let's see how much... That's the first one that we did, or that I did. So let's see. Yep, they're pretty dry. I don't know if you can see the, I know you can see the shimmer, but I don't know if you can see the little drops of glue, but you can in real life. Um, so I'm going to take my one and three fourths inch circle punch, and we are going to punch these out. I don't know why I keep saying we. I'm doing this right now. <laughs> okay. Now we will take our card front. And I'm going to put the crushed curry ones down. And I'm going to just put those on with some fast fuse. like I got a little bit of green or something so I'm just going to make sure that's underneath okay and then for the lime wedges I'm going to take Stampin Dimensionals and put one on the back of each Side. I'm going to take my, well, this hasn't quite dried, but I'm going to take the little um, seeds again. Good. Okay, put those on there. Put some fast fuse up at the top. Thank you, and you are the sweetest. I like the thank you, too. All right, okay. Um, all supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. 
and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.